And this is all coming from things I've learned, personal experiences. And, 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 and finally I feel at a good spot in my life where I can speak up and, and speak with my chest out, my chin up. America is racist. Listen carefully to what I said. America is racist. I did not say Americans. Although there is definitely an embarrassingly large amount of Americans with the archaic belief that superiority is based on skin color. However, I'm talking about America as a nation. We are all incredibly unaware of how deeply intertwined the ugly roots of racism have embedded themselves in the foundation of this country. Every influencer, every celebrity you follow, you've seen them use the term systemic or systematic racism in their posts, but I'm going to explain to you exactly what that means. 13th Amendment. 1864, slavery is abolished. Problem solved, right? Not quite. There is a criminality clause conveniently nestled in that amendment that says, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. So you're free, unless you're a criminal. Best way to keep blacks as slaves legally is criminalize them. Keep them in prison. Take their freedom. It's a term that's been coined mass incarceration, and it's evident in the statistics. America itself is responsible for 21% of the world's entire prison population, of which one-third are African Americans. Additionally, one in three black men have the chance of going to jail, jail in their life, and that number is one in 17 for white men. Blacks are incarcerated at more than five times the rate of whites. This is me citing the NAACP. That is not good enough for America, though. So what's another way to ensure inequality? Legally, segregation. Jim Crow laws, which enforced racial segregation through the mid-1960s. Bro, the mid-1960s. That is my parents' generation. That is how close we still are to all of this fuckery. Mm -hmm. And not to mention the prominent yet not so blaring nuanced nature of elected officials to keep the marginalized oppressed from Nixon to Reagan to Clinton to Bush. Whether you are aware of it or not, it's evident in the media, propaganda, our education system, literally everything. The historical narrative of the black man or virtually any non-white group, but profoundly African-Americans, has not been one of equality or fairness. For the longest, for the longest time, I was afraid to, to speak up because I thought I'd piss people off because I'm, I'm, I'm politically ignorant. And even because of my polarizing nature, I have made reprehensible mistakes in the past. So who the fuck am I to suggest a way to better and progress humanity? That was what I thought. This past weekend, I found the answer to that question. Who the fuck am I to better and progress humanity? I am a human. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. And I'm just like you. I am a human who's made mistakes. I've learned from them and I've worked hard to educate myself and create create a better future for me, my friends, my future children, and the world around me. It's 2020, and I'm sure I'll make more mistakes in my life, but one mistake that I refuse to be a part of is the mistake of silence. I will not be a part of a generation that is written on the wrong side of history, and I will not stand by as my fellow humans are brutally and unjustifiably murdered at the hand of the state or any oppressor. Listen closely. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm-hmm. Make your vo- voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, If you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are fucking blind. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your fucking ass I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, 
its racially charged background, its inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception. We must now work towards finding the solution. And if you are an influencer or a celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. On behalf of Brianna Taylor, we must change. On behalf of Ahmed Aubrey, we must advance. And on behalf of George Floyd and the hundreds of others who have been unjustly murdered in this country, we must evolve.